Hello, good day everyone. I am Good News from the Kings Farm and Industry. If you are joining us for the first time, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, press the notification bell, and don't forget to leave a like and comment on the work we are doing here. And also share this video so others will benefit. A lot has been bothering me and today I decided to do this uh, video recording so I can educate you guys about it. Most especially Nigerians in diaspora, okay? And also Nigerians in Nigeria that are too busy. The reason I'm always hammering on these two uh, classes of people is because they are the types that are just too busy or not too around to monitor their investment. You get me? So you see, this thing has been happening and is still happening in date across different states and it has shut down a lot of investment. It's not easy for one to invest millions in a project and at the end of the day could not realize even one million from it and then everything just crumble like that. Now, this brings me to the topic of today, management. You see, if your farm will survive or not, the management team you put on ground is what we decide that, not you. It's not even the billions you invest in it. You can see it here. You can see it here. You get You can see it here. The survivor of your farm, the survivor of your farm has nothing, nothing to do. Has nothing to do with the amount of money you invest into your farm. But the return from the farm depends on how much you invest. If you have good management team in place. Today, we're going to be discussing on four different areas of how bad management can affect and shut down your farm. For those of you who have not invested yet, so that you can look into them before you invest in agriculture. And also for those of you who have invested, so that you can correct these things. Number one, I repeat, number one, greed from the side of the investor. Despite the reality of things on ground in Nigeria now that everyone is after money, you hardly find honest persons. We still have honest people. And some of them are in charge of different farms. Working for devil in human form. They maltreat them. They take their simplicity for stupidity. They take their kindness for granted. You see... They will not allow them go on vacations. They will not allow them go on holidays when their family is having one issue or the other and they don't have the funds to sort these things out. They will not assist them. While on the other hand, some other investors have bad managers who they are helping at the same time, they are still dealing with them. So to solve this area, this particular area here, if you have farm workers that are good to you, your vision is in their head. They are carrying it in the center of their head. They are doing everything possible for the farm to survive. You have farm workers like this and you have a manager like this. Please assist them when they need assistance. Be kind to them. Don't always shout at them. Listen to them. When they need help, please be there for them. Sometimes visit their family. Don't treat them like as if they don't matter. Treat them like a partner. After all, the investment is yours. What we come out from it, we don't get to them apart from the peanuts you are paying them. When you are going to the farm, buy one or two, like as if you are going to see your family. Make them feel welcome. Make them feel like they have a family in you. This way, they will serve you better. And number two, we have greed also from the part of the investor. Not wanting to pay qualified people with the technical know-how of the job that needs to be done in the farm. You see, I travel around Nigeria and I've seen these things countless times. Hire someone who knows the job. No, my brother can do it. No, I'll be the one to manage it. Don't worry, I will do what is called learning on the job. Wow. So you want to learn from your experience. You are not to you that what you are learning from, that's your experience that you want to learn from. 
all right it's going to cost you a lot because in order for you to have that experience you are going to make a whole lot of mistakes that will bring the farm to its knees and then you will learn from it before you will not learn everything you need to know to manage the farm properly you have lost millions you get and uh instead of hiring someone who knows the job why you learn from that person so this way you will not be learning from your experience you will be learning from that person's experience he already has the experience so learning from him that will not cost you but learning from your experience your farm will pay the price you see, some of them will be like, oh, no worry, uh, we, 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 we'll try our best. And no worry, we'll just attend the one, uh, we'll, they come and train us in the farm. So you want to use a two days workshop to run an investment to invest millions in. Come on now. You want to watch video on YouTube to manage an investment to invest hundreds of millions in. I don't get it. Why this greed? Why this so much greed? Why? You are willing to invest above 10 million in a business you have no idea of, but you are not willing to pay 100,000. All right, to someone who can help you manage the investment. The 100,000 is like it is it, like 200 million to you. And then with your two eyes open, you will wash your 10 million, gather wings and disappear into the thin air. If you belong to this class, please, it has never done anyone that has been practicing this good. It will not do you good. And if you are planning to go this way, it will not do you good. Hire someone that knows the job. Now, even if it takes you to pay one millionaire in 10 months, for that person to be at the farm, why you for that person to be at the farm managing the work? Why you learn under that person in that ten months? Please do it. You get it will save your investment and it will help you to make profit. When your farm is doing well, this will encourage other investors to invest. Like what we are seeing here, it will discourage a lot of persons who have been following us. Okay, now the 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 third one is. Hiring relatives to manage the work. Is it bad to hire relatives to manage your investment, to look after your investment? Don't get me wrong, it's not bad. Okay? But hiring relatives because of emotion. And they are my blood. They can help me look after it well. That's sentiment, not reality. You get? Please don't place your investment on sentiment. When it comes to decision, when it comes to decision regarding your investment, do not base it on sentiment or emotion. Please go with reality. When hiring relatives, hire relatives that have the technical know-how to do the job. You will see some, don't worry, don't worry, uh, I, I will take the same thing here to go and learn. Wow. There is difference between head knowledge and practicing knowledge. Because practicing knowledge gives you experience. So this is not like what you heard, what you've read in a book. No, you are practicing it, you are seeing it. It's different from what you have in your head that you've never practiced. Okay, now please, please, I'm still repeating it, please. If you belong to this class, cut it off. It won't do you good. If your siblings or your relative, I don't know how close they are to you, have what it takes to run the farm, fine. But if they don't, send them to go and learn. Hire a manager in the farm. When they are done learning, let them come and stay under the manager. Even if it's for eight months, ten months, send them be under the manager to learn, to learn, to learn. Because once they are done reading, they are done with one day or two days or three days workshop. They need to come now. Because during the training, let me explain something for you. During physical and online training, that there are many things that will not be taught during those times. During those the presentations, there are some truths that will be cut off. It's not like them for God. They don't want you to know. So that when they organize another training, you will come. That's the reason we have first, uh, first class and then we now have uh, the advanced class. 
That's the reason. So when they take from you today, they will take from you again another day. So because of this, hire someone in your farm. Then let this your relative stay under this person. Learn for a long time. Learn for a long time. So that they can observe not just one season. Two seasons or three seasons together. Mistakes made from the first season. This your relative will learn how the manager corrects the same mistakes in the first season, in the second season, and then in the third season. So that from there, now like, okay, if this thing happens like this, this is how it goes. If it happens like this, this is how it will, will solve it. Fine. And then from there, they can continue. You see, I have seen farms that have been shut down. Not that there, there was no money involved. That's not like there, there's no money to run the farm. In fact, there is this farm at Omuze we set up two years ago. The guy that owns the farm is now in Nigeria. He reached out to me. He watched our video here. reached out to me, and then we went to Omuze. When we got there, we discovered that it was the brother that is managing the work. They, they have a pig farm there. My God, if you see the pigs, like four days, they will not clean the pens. When they will now manage to clean the pens, they will pack the dirt, keep it within the pen. Almost all the pigs died while we were there doing the work. I tried to talk to him, but there, there is a limit to what I can say because they are brothers. Do you know that the snail farm never kicked up. We never stuck with that farm. We were done with the construction. The, what the brother was doing is that he would come to meet us in the hotel when they would give him money to come and give us. Come to the hotel, give us the money. We'll plead with me to wait or I will wait. He will spray the money on the bed in the hotel room, lie down in a snap and do video post on Facebook. That was it. When it was time, close to the time for stocking, the guy called and said, the pig farm has collapsed. Every the, the snail farm, he does not know what they did to this to the farm. Everything is collapsing. Please, we should refund the money for the snails. We refund the money to him. And I was bleeding when I was hearing it. Okay, we've seen cases like this where relatives they don't care. In fact, they don't care. After all, it's their person's money, so they can do anyhow they like with it. Do you know the reason? The major reason behind this behavior is because they know they cannot be held accountable. There's nothing you can do. If you arrest them, one of the members of the family will ask you to go and bed them. You want to kill your person. These are the reasons we normally advise. When you've invested millions, bring in an outsider, someone you can deal with when things go wrong. Someone you can put in prison and then everyone will not come. The family will come. You will come. They will reach an agreement. Okay, let him pay you this amount of money. You can't do that to your family members. You can't. Someone where you are coming, when they are doing evil and you are coming, they will be afraid. So, in, a, in, in all of this, if you want to employ family members to do your work, you want to employ any of your distance relatives, please make sure they have what it takes. If they don't have it, let them go and learn. Employ someone to look after the work and then let them learn from this person. If you will take it from me, I will advise you to go and, to go and hire an outsider to help you look after the farm. Let them come and be doing a special. Okay? Because, you see, there's a farm at uh, Ogwashuku. I love this man very much. All the people I've worked for, in fact, I take this man as my father. He's not in Nigeria. You see, whenever he comes around like this, he called me, I will go to the farm. I love him very much and I love what he was doing. He called most times to talk outside business to advise me as a young man do this. I love this man, but it got to a point that the brother there called me. I was like, if, well, if whenever we want, whenever we want to order for anything, we want to do anything, I should call him first. Tell us to ask him how much he will add to it. Which means if that thing is one million, 
he, I will not call him first. Then he will not tell me, oh, it's 20, it's add 2 million to it. It will not be 3 million. Inflate the price. And then me, I will not tell the brother. So him will not back me up while the brother will pay the money. That was how they cripple the well, pure water company they opened there because the manager there, they shut everything down. The, the snail farm, they shut it down. When I refuse, when I refuse, when I refuse that, they started, they started lying against me and doing all sorts of things. Before I called the brother and I cut ties with them. But when the brother found out, he called me to like, okay, he's sorry. And then, you see, but the thing is that I did not lose money. It is the brother that lost a whole lot of money. In fact, millions of neras. So when you are going this direction, please take it from us. Employ someone else to look after your investment. And then we have the fourth one. Okay, this one has about two different branches. So we'll take it one after the other. The, here is employing someone from outside, claiming that knows the job but does not know the job. This is the reason we normally advise if you have a snail farm, you have a pig farm, you have grass otter farm, if it is more than one session, please have different manager in managing them. Okay? Have a separate manager to manage your snake farm. A separate manager to manage your pig farm. This way, if something is going wrong with the snake farm, this other manager here can help her first. If they are not able to handle it, one of them might not call you, Baba, look at what is going on. I don't know if you get. The idea of hiring one manager to manage all your investments. If anything is going wrong, no one will tell you. No one. No one. You see, please, when hiring someone, I will advise those of you that have not invested yet or that want to invest now. Please, before you put all the funds together to go and buy materials, bring in people to come and cost, uh, set up the farm, please hire a manager first. Let the crew that will do the work, do the finished work, be around first. Because we've seen cases where people, we, uh, when they, are, they, they, they stock the farm. This is when they will not start looking for manager. This is where you will hire an incompetent person because you will not have time to, to evaluate whether they know the job or not. Anyone that comes in is who you will employ because you are desperate to get one out. Take your time. Go through their CV. Take your time. Ask them questions. If you can, bring other people that own farm that be doing it. Let them ask this person questions. When you discover that, okay, you know what he's doing, but you are still here. And then you now go ahead and set up the farm. During the farm setup, they might even, he, might, he or she might even advise you, oh, where I was working before, this is how it is. Not like this you are trying to do now. You get. Do not set up your farm first. And you, you, everything is ready. Production is starting tomorrow. Then now you are look, you are in a haste looking for manager. Looking for farm workers. Please, this habit, stop it so that you will not go and employ an incompetent person. The other one here is hiring a dishonest manager. A manager that don't have integrity. Please, before you hire a manager, take your time. Ask questions about where they've worked. Go there if you can. Go and learn. Ask questions there. Why did you people drop this person? What happened? If you cannot go there, send people there. Do not allow the... Don't, don't think that you are wasting your money. No, you are saving your farm. You are saving your farm. You see, there is this farm we went to in a state, poultry farm, the man was complaining because he was not in the farm. He was complaining, today, tomorrow, the manager keep calling 100 dial, 300 best dial, 400 best dial. So he asked us to go to the farm so we can help sa save the farm organically. Getting there, we discovered that the best were fine. When I returned back, I told him, 
he should visit them without telling them he's coming. He said, will that solve the problem? I said, yes, he should go there. So they know when he normally comes because he's working in the company. But this time he just took an excuse. I went straight to the farm. Getting to the farm, he discovered a, the, what was going on. They will kill some of the, they will kill some of the life belt that are healthy. Then do a video and send for him. Then they will not sell both the, the, the dead ones, the ones they just killed, and sell other ones that they've not killed to a, a malams to go and be doing a fried chicken on the road. They were shocked when they saw him because they were already in the middle of it. You see, a lot has happened. There is another farm we went to at uh, Ifo in Ogun State. The owner of the farm was complaining that he has spent millions there. They have a poultry, sorry, sorry, they have fish farm. They, they have a rabbit farm. They have grass cutter and they have snake farm. Since he was not around and the wife was too busy for them to go to the farm, the manager know that they, before they will come, they will call him. So the manager will keep telling them everything is fine. Until one day, the man sent his wife to go to the farm without telling the manager. Getting there, they discovered that almost all the animals there have died. So I did not say they, they died naturally. But getting to the farm, almost all the animals there were gone. They didn't know what happened to them. The man, the manager had the guts to be angry with the wife. Why did you call, tell, tell me before coming? We have this kind of people that don't have conscience. We have them everywhere. I was watching a video on Facebook not too long. The owner of the poultry farm came and some of the workers were going out. He stopped them. And other the men that came with him to search all of them. You see, in the pant, in the pant of one of the worker, they found more than two crates of eggs. How will that farm survive? The manager will not say he's not aware. You, you, he, he can never say he's not aware. In order for you not to be the sponsor of this, this is why I said earlier, treat your workers nice. So that you will not push them into this art. But dishonest people will always be dishonest. They can never be honest. So, when employing a manager, please look at this area. Try your best, though it is not easy not to employ a dishonest manager. Try your best not to employ dishonest workers. Do not allow your manager to employ workers for you. I repeat. Do not allow your manager to employ workers for you. When it's time to employ workers, be at the farm. If you cannot go there, send someone there. Let them employ these people with the manager's guardians. If you will not always be free to go to the farm, look for someone, send this person to the farm. Don't just send one person every time. Send Mr. A today. Send Mr. B tomorrow. So that they will not go and bribe this person. And then bring in one or two workers. Put them in different sessions. Let them be your eyes there, even if they are not doing anything. This issue we are discussing here has shut down a lot of farms. Exactly what happened here. So please, and please, and please. Take these things I'm saying very serious and then work on it if one or two is already affecting you. Once again, I'm good news from the King's Farm and Industry. If you want to buy snail, you want to buy feed, you want to buy calcium, you want to set up your greenhouse, whether for crop or for insects or for snail farming, or you have one thing or the other you want us to talk about, or you want to run a partnership business with us, Reach out to me through this line 081-140-666-59. Have a wonderful day ahead.